Good afternoon and welcome to the briefing from the board of directors of Gem for Me Group featuring our heads of technical development department and the head of our marketing team which was hosted on Monday, January 18th of 2021. My name is Oleg Lupovetsky and I will be translating on behalf of all the speakers today. Valery Ostrikov speaking. Good afternoon, dear colleagues and friends, and today we have a conference during which we will be answering your specific questions that you've submitted previously, as well as our head of the marketing team will also answer your specific questions and discuss the latest news. We've been receiving your questions over the course of last month and will now answer them. Firstly, I would like to answer the questions that we received for the board of directors. During the conferences, various articles are mentioned that use the funds that the project gathers. The company has been working in the legal field for three years now. Why are the results of this financial activity not visible to the shareholders? The results of the audit by the Maltese company are available and are in open access. We will also prepare a wide access format to depict how the audit was conducted and its process. The companies in Malta are responsible only for auditing the messenger portion, while today the market space portion of the application is also under review. Please specify when the new valuation will be conducted. If currently in progress, what stage is it in? Are there any challenges in conducting the audit and what are they? The pandemic makes a very big change and very difficult to travel recently. As whenever an audit of this size is conducted, there are companies of to be in-person meetings. In any case, we are preparing an audit for the messenger with the new services and new users approximately by the end of January. Market space portion will also be audited once we are able to travel as well as we will introduce the monetary flows in the application and its financial infrastructure. I purchased a package of shares via a bank transfer. The funds were sent to Marine EX Riga company. Please specify how this company is related to Jim for me. In order to sell shares, we sell shares through the purchase of tokens as it allows us to operate all over the world in private placements. Shareholders purchase tokens which are exchanged into shares automatically. The company is carrying out the transaction of tokens. Please specify whether we will have an international bank card after the sale of Gem for Me. If so, how will it be used? We are closely monitoring such systems and are not considering it at this time. Any financial transaction that involves a large amount of people, especially in various parts of the world, are being very closely monitored. We are working on introducing two financial operators to the application that will provide acquiring in various parts of the world and monetary transactions as well. During the briefing of November 30th, 2020, the offer to combine shares of MarketSpace and Messenger was positively received. As the result, how are you intending to do so given that many investors have different amounts of shares of the Messenger and MarketSpace separately? How will the process of combining take place for investors who joined later and only have shares of market space? And do you agree that one share plus one share of market space is more than just one share of market space? We do like this idea and we are potentially reviewing this possibility as it would also increase either the value of the application as a whole. Once this topic is off the ground, we will also discuss it further and review this option with everyone and will review all the potential outcomes. In other news, I wanted to point out how we are headed in the absolute right direction. I wanted to shine some light on an example of a popular marketplace in North America called Poshmark. It is a platform for selling new and used clothing, accessories and shoes, as well as products for home in only United States and Canada. Its marketplace commission is 20% from the sales price and it was launched in 2011 and was recently released an IPO in January of 2021 with the value of $7.4 billion. Poshmark sells used clothing and accessories and yet it is valued at $7.4 billion. Based on this analogy, our application offers a messenger, a marketplace providing various products and services public channels, video conferences, and much, much more all over the world. Our time to shine is soon to come. Moreover, with so many developments on the market of messengers and mobile applications today, we are confident that our time to shine is approaching fast. Each day, we apply utmost efforts to bring us and our application closer to the moment it is virally used. Our value continues to grow each day while we are continuously adding new functionalities and in-demand features to the application. 
Once our financial infrastructure is added to the application, it will skyrocket even further. Moreover, the variety of services offered is also the foundation of stability and increasing our value as various market segments will use various services depending on their preferences and needs. We are building a system that unites all of these needs of users all over the world, which also increases the value of our whole ecosystem, both in terms of global and local services offered. 2021 will continue to be the year for a major breakthrough for online commerce, a sector that we are actively participating in as we speak. On this note, I would like to thank you for your questions and time as I am now passing the word to Vaige Zakarian, the head of our team of developers who will discuss the technological notions and upcoming plans as well. Thank you for your time. Vaige Zakarian speaking. Good afternoon, dear colleagues and friends. My name is Vaige Zakarian and I am the head of development of the gem for me Messenger and will discuss its notions today as well as our future plans for 2021 and what has already been accomplished over the course of the past few weeks. We will also cover the upcoming releases and will answer the questions we've received recently. Firstly, I would like to go over the news in particular aspects that I will cover in much detail today. Currently, our short-term plans for the first quarter of this year include working on a new video in Gem for Me Development Chest, which is our product YouTube channel discussing our application, releases, and plans in English language. The next upcoming release will be on January 27th and will feature horizontal mode for working in the app during an active call on the Android version, preview of links on the Android and iOS versions, increase of user limit during group calls and conferences, ability to listen to one's voice messages prior to sending, and detailed information about users who reacted to a message on the web version. Moreover, this is how horizontal mode during an active call will look like. Now, Android users can use this functionality for their convenience with more versions to receive it shortly. Next, Link Preview is also now available and prior to sending a message with a link, a user is able to see information about the website that he or she is sharing. After sending the message, all users can see information and preview of the website shared, while each link will also depict a picture, a title, and a brief description. Additionally, we are continuously working on increasing the amount of maximum participants to be in an active call and eventually the amount will be unlimited. Calls and conferences can now be placed in a test mode for 50 plus participants at once. Microphone can be simultaneously turned off or a video camera for 50 users maximum at this time. If a user tries to turn his microphone or video when a limit has already reached, a user will see a notification depicting it. Moreover, users can now also preview their voice messages prior to sending them as well. And this is yet another convenient feature to improve efficiency of use. And lastly, we also added the ability to view statistics of views on the web version and reactions of those who saw a particular post, a notion which will also be later added to all the versions of the application and seems to be a rather popular one in the world of IT today. Furthermore, some of our plans for the first quarter of 2021 include album messages, updated text formatting, message views counter, search for messages, catalog of channels and improvements to existing functionality, as well as much, much more to come, as we have major plans for the whole application over the course of 2021. Let's now answer the questions that we've received from you. I see one major problem with our application. When I send messages to a user, they are delivered not right away but in some time. At times, because of this issue, I have to double the message through WhatsApp where the user receives the message right away. At times, I even contemplate whether I should just send the message through WhatsApp and we be confident that it is received and read right away. Each release, we test the application's speed of delivery and efficiency. Our automated test depicts message delivery not being longer than 3 seconds at a time. In case of any additional obstacles such as connection, it may be longer. Yet in any case, if your messages take longer than 3 seconds to deliver, we need to receive detailed information and feedback depicting the error in order for us to investigate it further and address it accordingly. 
Our own team of developers use the Messenger for all of our communication needs via messages and calls, and 99% of the time, we do not experience any issues or irregularities. Why does the gem for me logo not depict the amount of unread messages? Also, within the application, a number depicts unread messages for a particular chat, while after reading the message, the number does not disappear. Can this be resolved? The Android version will receive a patch for this issue in the current release, while the iOS version will receive in one of the upcoming releases depending on when it is prepared and ready. If you issue prevails after updating the application, please submit it to our support service to investigate it further. When will horizontal mode during a call on the Android version be introduced? It is now available in the current release. It is frequent that sound disappears during a video call for some time and then comes back on the Android and iOS versions. When will this be resolved? Well done so far, the product is very usable and we use it all the time. Thank you. Unfortunately, we cannot determine the exact cost based on the question and are in need of some more supporting information as there are many various factors at play. There has to be a constant connection from the connection provider and the servers during a call. With any connection fluctuations, there may be issues like such. And in order to further understand the case, we do need as much information as possible in order for us to address the issue, if prevalent, for the upcoming release. Gem for me has lots of various functions and competitive notions separating it from other applications. Yet, there is one drawback that may hinder integration into the masses. Many small errors of various kinds and delays when using the application. Not all buttons and signs work instantly, also slow loading time for uploading video files, which is not always. It is understandable that it depends on various devices and phones, internet connection and etc. but still. Fluidity is the most important feature. There should be practically no errors in what times the messenger expected to be comparable to top messengers on the market. Android devices will have reaction times reduced to less than a second after the update. We've been working on this notion for quite some time now. Regarding the timeframes, we've created comparison to other competitors and in any case, in most cases, all applications have errors. Some are more prevalent than others at times. We are actively reworking on all the errors and do prioritize them based on their severity. Each release we strive to address at least 50 to 60 errors and do fix them. We currently have no critical errors in the operation of the application while minor errors do occur. Less powerful computers when turning on the screen sharing option the screen gets doubled to infinity, freezes or just ends abruptly. Solution to this problem does exist in application with screen sharing capabilities. I hope that administration will take my advice and will increase the stability and accessibility for any device. We will take your inquiry into consideration while we already do have a design of a solution for the matter and it is currently awaiting to initiate development. We do have development in various directions and all items get prioritized based on their need and demand. This error occurs for a small portion of users and we will address it accordingly. And on this note, I would like to thank you for your feedback, your questions and time as we continue working hard on bringing our application to perfection. Thank you and I am now passing the word to the head of our marketing team to answer the questions that were addressed to them. Ms. Gohar speaking. Good afternoon and let's continue our conference today as I will discuss our latest marketing strategies and news as well as what we've achieved over the course of last month. Our application is an ultra modern product in the modern world of communication as we take what the market sector already offers and further sophisticate and improve it. Firstly, I wanted to go over and introduce our roadmap for 2021 in terms of both the development and marketing directions. For the first quarter, we will feature onboarding, group calls and conferences with no participant limit, link preview, notifications of new users, text formatting, album messages, statistics of post, post views and catalogs of channels, search for messages and links to the channels. While doing the second quarter, we will mainly focus on, in terms of development, on introducing universal links to users and posts and channels, 
new calls section, a catalog of stickers, public and private stickers, new types of messages such as articles and message translation, gem for me bot with custom messages and notification, registration through the web version and new backgrounds for chats. While the third quarter will introduce comments and channels, additional encryption, monetary transfers, desktop version, personalized advertisements of products and channels, additional privacy settings and functionality of uploading your own stickers. And lastly, the fourth quarter, we will work on introducing such notions as online broadcasting, new types of messages including votes and questionnaires, product widgets for market space, photo and video stories, gamification introduction, delayed message sending, and identification of suggested messages for a user. On the other hand, in terms of marketing, our 2021 roadmap will focus on, during the first quarter, articles in business medias about conferences with no limits, increasing the amount of public channels and working with famous content makers, advertising material with new capabilities on Facebook, TikTok, Google, and Yandex, and contests for the amount of views on a particular post. While during the second quarter, we will mainly work on universal links to users and posts and channels of famous bloggers, video integration, celebrity stickers, private stickers in the referral system, and launch of a completely new referral system, as well as promotion of articles. During the third quarter, we will feature contests for the amount of comments in channels, promotion of messengers as security in articles and video content, B2B promotion of the messenger due to the desktop version and new functionality recently introduced, and lastly, personalized advertising for products and channels. While lastly, during the fourth quarter, we will focus on online broadcasts, votes and questionnaires, photo and video stories by famous content makers, gamification, advertising materials based on the core functionality, participation in industry conferences and events. As mentioned before, we are changing the structure of our marketing promotion from the ground up. We are now building our advertising campaign through CPM format, while our analytics is now much deeper and we can see retention rates, which allows us to build the campaign in regions where it is very well received. In other news, our mission is also evolving as our slogans and taglines are also getting an update. In order to stay in trend, we've also launched new variations of new slogans to target new users and latest tendencies in the world. Gem for me, all opinions matter. Gem for me, protected communication. Gem for me is censorship free and Gem for me is a reliable communication tool. And here are some application examples of how these new slogans and marketing materials will be used, including sliders in which a story is depicted. Moreover, we will also be promoting our own commercial platform and will focus on the multi-capability of our application with its services and products that it offers. We are also striving to be more versatile in our advertising campaign while showing brand new capabilities of the application. In other news, digital marketing really depends on the volume and brand awareness. While we will also pay utmost attention to public relations and being published in various articles. Over the course of 2020, many different publishing resources discussed our Gem for Me application while we are striving to be published in some more well-known medias and resources in 2021. We are currently working with several of these entities and are excited to see what will be said about our application. And now, let's discuss just how rapidly the sector of messengers is evolving nowadays, with the most recent and brightest examples pertaining to Signal Messenger. This is an example from just a couple weeks ago when Elon Musk said not to use WhatsApp Messenger as it shares personal user data with its parent company, Facebook and said to instead use Messenger Signal. This is a true depiction of how fast the messenger can grow in a matter of just a few days, while over the weekend Signal was the most downloaded application in Finland. Signal also writes on Twitter that most downloaded regions are India, Germany, France, Austria and Switzerland. Users of the service also state that Signal is most downloaded in Netherlands, Egypt and Kenya hoping that our gym for me will also become worldwide known and needs more marketing and advertising, which we are currently working on. Moreover, 
working on the messenger initiated in 2013 and not many even heard about it, its existence back then and yet it merely took off all over the world in a matter of just a few days. The market of messengers is very fluid and consists of very young applications that are continuously shifting its positions. Let's now answer the questions that we received from you as well. Please provide the plan and main stages such as goals for the mass media and the budget, timeframes, goals, audience and geography, and how the main stages will be accomplished. Please also discuss the plans of action for unforeseen circumstances in the global marketing plan. In regards to the budget, it is planned out forward to cover for all the 2021 expenses and we will be continuously updating all the promotional materials and will be sharing the latest news with the shareholders as well. We will also be discussing how our geography is expanding and the statistics associated with the expansion. Our current marketing plan will closely follow the 2021 roadmap and we will update you on all the changes and latest events. Please discuss the plan and timeframes of for how the application recognition will be growing on the market. Yes, our roadmap does depict all the plans for this year in much detail and our efforts and brand new approach will definitely be helping us further increase brand recognition on the markets in recent sectors of the world. Please tell us more about the changes in the marketing policies. Please omit the numbers and percentages, but rather discuss the plans and vision of how and in what timeframes the dynamic growth of our application will increase. As mentioned before, we are changing the structure of our marketing promotion from the ground up. We are now building our advertising campaign through the, the CPM format. Our analyst is much deeper and we can see retention rates, which allows us to build a campaign in regions where it is well received. We also have an all new marketing materials and tools to implement in our strategy. In my opinion, Gem for me is lacking presence even in the Russian segment. Not many know about it without even the global part mentioned. 2021 will be the year of the success for the application for exchanging messages and we have to also work on the market space as, as a global potential. It is best to focus more on promoting the application and internationalize the business beyond CIS countries. We have not worked with major medias and publishing enterprises yet as we were polishing and finalizing the development of the technological portion of our application first with the following promotion all over. Now that it is done, we are aiming to introduce at least four articles per month. The events currently happening in the world of IT depict a rapid growth and changes. Gen for me and MarketSpace must take advantage of this time. Will we be able to do so if our company initiates advertising and marketing for both Gen for me and MarketSpace all over the world in short time frames? We are fully immersed in the field and are aware of the latest changes on the market. Our application is focusing on being multi-use and capable of various functions rather than focusing on just one or two notions. Our time to shine will come and we are making sure our application is fully prepared for it. We are concerned with the slow growth in the amount of users and the application. Yes, we are aware of this and know exactly the causes of the slowdown and how to prevent it from stagnating us further. Our marketing campaign is fully revamped and we are ready to start it again. The company needs to prepare quality and detailed marketing materials in English language about Gem for Me, which we will be able to share on social networks, not only in English language but also in Spanish for Latin America and French as well. We do have promotional materials in English language and certain other ones and can always prepare some for you based on your requests. Feel free to send us your requests and we will make sure that we can provide what is needed. At this time we are highly focused on promotion in Asian regions and English speaking countries. Do you have a roadmap? Is there enough funds for the work and why does development take so long? Yes, we've already presented the roadmap earlier and the development is moving along quite fast lately. When is the major promotional campaign of the application planned for? Are we not losing precious time? The major promotional campaign is being implemented as we speak and we have presented all the new additions and updates to it earlier in this conference. 
In order to have a really viral growth of the application, we need to create a certain special feature that will both attract new users and will drastically set us apart from the competition. Are the marketers planning to create a certain wow feature, if possible, for Gem for Me? How will it be implemented and is there a plan? Market space and video conferences are our wow feature at this time. We are the global WeChat and are capable of surpassing other competitors in several notions. Moreover, our application is continuously receiving new functions and we are implementing financial infrastructure to it as well. Nowadays, many people are not happy with the policies of Facebook and WhatsApp and Twitter. We are searching for alternative messengers and social networks to use for their social circles and communication needs. How is our company planning to use this aspect for the benefit of the application? Yes, this is correct. Due to the efforts by our team of developers, we are ready for a rapid growth of our user base. There are still minor items to address, and despite that, in the meantime, market space will be our main focus, and we will focus on competitiveness and being able to offer similar, if not better, conditions for marketers and users of our merchants and market space. Are we technologically ready for an aggressive leap in user base? Yes. We are technologically prepared for the aggressive leap in the user base and our servers are fully prepared to handle the growth as we have a very flexible technological foundation. Many users of Amazon are unhappy with its policies and are seeking alternatives for conducting their business. Our application could potentially go and host a large user base at this time. What are our plans in this regard? As soon as MarketSpace receives its financial infrastructure and monetary transfers, we are expecting a larger user base and immense growth in all the various notions that it currently offers. When is it that three years ago with low functionality of the messenger and total absence of MarketSpace that daily growth of the user base was around 5 to 6,000? Now over the course of last year, there is an average of 5 to 6,000 per week. Everything seems to be working while the amount of downloads seems to be stagnant. Is the referral program not enough? When are we planning to increase the interest towards our project? Delaying will definitely not be beneficial for us. More and more messengers are becoming famous, but not just yet. When is it our time to shine? Firstly, we had an average of around 7 to 8,000 downloads per day. While the numbers always do fluctuate, but our marketing team is always adjusting and monitoring the changes in the sector and fluctuations of trends. Currently, we are aiming to gain at least 10,000 new users per day with our new efforts and are now partnering with two agencies that are focused on promoting various platforms and optimization. We use CPM format while they also use CPI approaches. Our time to shine is approaching rather fast while we are implementing all the efforts we can do both in terms of technological development and marketing promotion. And on this side, I would like to thank you for your time and your questions as I am now passing the word to Alexander Kuchinovsky, the member of the board of directors who will discuss and continue our conference today. Alexander Kuchinovsky speaking. Greetings, dear colleagues and friends, and let's now continue our conference with answering more of the questions that we received, as we have quite a lot of them this time, followed by some traditional news. It is said that we do not cooperate with Synesis and are now independent. Why is it, and did they not want to cooperate anymore? Firstly, Synesis is a very well-respected company in Europe with one of the leading offices with a large amount of top engineers. Usually, there are types of companies of this kind. Companies that create their own products and sell them to other enterprises later, or companies that create and develop by order. Sometimes, there are companies that combine both of these methods. Well, Synesis is one of those companies that does both develop its own products and develops products by order that do go independent thereafter. For instance, Viber was born in Synesis and was developed by them, and in a matter of a few years Viber registered itself as a separate entity in Luxembourg with subsequent sale for 0.9 of a billion dollars to Rakuten in Japan. Up until 2020, a whole floor in Synesis was taken up by Viber developers maintaining it. Another example of such is Platica, which is also born in Synesis and is a large amount of engineers are still in Synesis offices today maintaining it.
despite the fact that it is a separate entity and was sold to Caesars Entertainment in the United States first, after which it was sold again to a Chinese investment group that recently released its IPO in January of this month. The point being is that our project is following the same steps as Platica and Viber and other less known projects developed by Synesis. We were born in Synesis and our very first developers were in Synesis, while this year we are separating our own team of developers in an independent group in Minsk. All the developers will be transferred there and we will be fully independent while still remaining in partnership with Synesis and are receiving useful tools and help from Synesis to this day. This will also make our application grow in value by a lot. Is it possible that if the sales amount is not high enough in the CCA distribution, earlier investors with coefficient of 0.25 to 0.5 will receive less for their shares than what they should have invested 3 to 4 years ago when there was no CCA in place? What mechanism and limitations are you reviewing in order to prevent this situation from unfolding? With the dynamic of growth and value of our application, this scenario is highly unlikely, although no one can predict what could happen in these unprecedented times. We believe in our project and its continuous growth and its success. We cannot guarantee any profitability legally while we do discuss all of our latest news, developments and future plans on the continuous basis each week to depict our growth. We are also striving to fully increase our value day by day. Let's now continue our conference with some traditional news. As part of our generous referral program, each week we summarize the results of the earnings and work conducted in the weekly earnings of those active investors. As you can see, the geography of those investors is widespread over the course of last week, and we've had 17 investors from 6 countries with earnings of more than 1,000 euro, Six investors from four countries with more than 2,000 euro, three investors from three countries with earnings of more than 10,000 euro, and three investors from three countries with more than 12,000 euro in a matter of just one week. And our top earning partner of last week earned 17,900 euro. What a great way to start the year! These are the average profitability rates of our project for those partners who wish to earn not just when the project is finished and is sold, but also while it is being developed. Let's make these amounts more frequent over the course of this year, and we are confident that this is the time when big amounts can and will be earned. As a reminder, our schedule of conferences for the following few weeks is depicted on the slide, so be sure to submit any questions you may have in order for the board of directors to prepare diligent answers. Let's now continue our conference by discussing the latest promotions that are in effect at this time. The remaining amount of shares is decreasing rather fast, so be sure to take advantage of getting some at the prices that are current as the prices will be growing after February 1st. And we've decided to extend some of the promotions until February 1st, therefore the maximized advantages promotion for your advantage is still available and can be used. Don't forget of our CCA10 powerful surrounding promotion which is also still available and it is also extended until February 1st. Due to popular requests, we've decided to return the rounding the amount of fractional shares promotion during which uh, the period of January 18th through February 1st when purchasing any business package the uneven amount of shares increases to the nearest whole number upwards. The recently introduced promotion Complete Your Career by the end of the year that will last until February 1st and will allow you to advance on the career ladder. Please note, the green color depicts the amount of shares that investors received previously before this promotion for closing new career qualifications for all the steps, while the yellow depicts the new and changed amounts through this marvelous promotion. And as you can see, previously you would receive an additional 810 shares for closing all the career steps and now that number is much much higher to motivate your hard work. So be sure to take this extremely rare chance and boost your career as it is extended until February 1st for your convenience. As mentioned before, the prices of shares are increasing, which you can see depicted on the slide here. However, the prices of all the packages increased will freeze and remain the same until February 1st, but will continue increasing by 1% thereafter weekly. Familiarize yourself with the stable to be aware of the upcoming changes.
Additionally, buyers of large packages also receive an encouraging amount of shares which is depicted on the slide. This will last from November 30th through February 1st of 2021 and the shares are for buyers of large packages and their sponsors. And now a very new promotion for our project. Receive an option for the shares never seen before. A buyer receives an option to purchase any packages of shares through February through March at a lower price per one share when making a purchase during the validity period of this promotion. And when using the option, the sponsor receives up to 50% of shares and does not receive personal bonus, while owners of options can also transfer their options to other members of their structures. And lastly, the table depicts the amount of shares included in large packages starting January of 2021. The price of packages will increase by 1% weekly starting February 1st of 2021 and you have the chance to purchase large packages of shares at a fixed price and receive options for purchasing packages at a very profitable prices only until February 1st. So be sure to take advantage of this while it lasts. And on this note, I would like to thank you for your time and wish you profound weeks full of big earnings and accomplishments. Thank you, and until we meet next time.